Kitchener, Field Marshal and Architect of the British Empire's Legacy. Chapter 1, Roots of Duty. Horatio Herbert Kitchener's story begins in the Green Hills of County Kerry, Ireland, on June 24, 1850. Born into a family with a strong military tradition, young Horatio inherited a legacy of duty and discipline from his father, Lieutenant Colonel Henry Horatio Kitchener. His early years were marked by a strict upbringing that instilled in him the values that would shape his character. At twelve, Kitchener was sent to the Royal Military Academy in Woolwich. His time there was marked by a keen interest in engineering and military strategy. This early exposure laid the foundation for the skills that would later define him as a military leader. Chapter 2 The Crucible of the Colonies Kitchener's first taste of active service came in the colonial outposts of the British Empire. His assignments in Egypt and Sudan exposed him to the harsh realities of warfare and the complexities of governing distant lands. It was in these crucibles that Kitchener's leadership skills began to emerge earning him recognition for his strategic insight and decisiveness. Chapter 3, Triumph in the Sudan The year 1898 saw Kitchener at the forefront of the Sudan campaign, facing the formidable Mahdiist forces led by the Mahdi. The Battle of Andaman became a defining moment in Kitchener's career. Employing a combination of modern weaponry, disciplined infantry, and superior intelligence, he secured a decisive victory, establishing British control over Sudan and solidifying his reputation as a military genius. Chapter 4 The Rise to Prominence Kitchener's success in the Sudan campaign caught the eye of the British government, leading to his appointment as Chief of Staff during the Second Boer War in South Africa. Faced with guerrilla tactics from the Boer forces, Kitchener implemented controversial measures including a scorched-earth policy and concentration camps. While effective in achieving military objectives, these methods would later be scrutinized for their human cost. Chapter 5, Lord Kitchener The end of the Boer War marked a turning point in Kitchener's career. Knighted and given the title of Lord Kitchener, he returned to a hero's welcome in Britain. His successes in the Sudan and South Africa solidified his place in the upper echelons of the British military hierarchy. Chapter 6 The Gathering Storm As Europe stood on the brink of the Great War in 1914, Kitchener was thrust into a new role as Secretary of State for War. His task was monumental, to mobilize the British Empire for unprecedented scale conflict. With its pointed finger and the words your country needs you, Kitchener's iconic recruitment poster became a symbol of the war effort. Chapter 7, The Great War Kitchener's influence extended beyond recruitment. He played a pivotal role in shaping military strategy and coordinating the vast resources of the British Empire. The ill-fated Gallipoli campaign, launched in 1915, would test Kitchener's strategic insight and reveal the harsh realities of modern warfare. Chapter 8 Legacy of Controversy Kitchener's wartime measures, including the implementation of conscription and the suspension of civil liberties, stirred controversy. His vision for a post-war settlement aimed to maintain the balance of power in Europe and secure the interests of the British Empire. However, his untimely death in 1916, when the ship carrying him to Russia sank, left a leadership void at a critical juncture. Chapter 9 The World in Transition The British Empire faced a changing world as the war drew to a close. The old certainties of imperial grandeur were giving way to new realities. The echoes of Kitchener's legacy would resonate through the corridors of history, a testament to an era marked by geopolitical shifts, shifting alliances, and the relentless march of progress. Chapter 10 End of an Era Kitchener's death marked the end of an era. The global landscape was transformed, and the British Empire grappled with the consequences of war, economic challenges, and the demands for self-determination from its colonies. 
Kitchener's absence left a void that new leaders would fill with new ideas. Epilogue, the echoes of history. In the quiet corners of remembrance, Kitchener's name resonates with the echoes of a bygone era. His story is not just a tale of one man's journey through the tumult of his times. It reflects the grand sweep of history and the indelible mark left by those who shaped it. As the sun set on the British Empire, Kitchener's legacy endured in the pages of history, a reminder of a time when the fate of nations hung in the balance and leaders like Kitchener bore the weight of history on their shoulders.